All right, uh, Frenchy, welcome back to the podcast. Thank you for having me back. Yes. yes. You're, one of the, you're one of the first guests I did oh, from geez. memory. That's so, great. Hope, so that would have been when I was shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, expe- I'm expecting a polished product then. Oh, absolutely. I've been seeing you getting on the charts, mate. I'm expecting something. What are you, just behind Amish and Andy or something? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's so the... That's, I I'm can't e- top them. I'm not, I'm not promising better than them. I'm expecting you to be Hamish and Andy right now, so... At the same time? At the same time. Look, Ham. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that was a good start. Yeah, I think I so. Like, I, think I'll, I think I'll try and get the KFC bucket spinning oh, and all yes. that kind of shit. Yes. And I just swore. I blew it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Have they said cunt or anything on the... I've heard them say... I've heard Hamish say cunt on another podcast. Never on their wow. shit. Wow. But it was weird. I didn't know he knew the word. I know. Like, hearing hearing mainstream people swear is, is often... Like, it, it's like, that. I didn't know you could it's do great. that. right, yeah. I think they've got all this built up inside of them every now and then. They're just... I reckon sometimes they would get home... And just can 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 Oh yeah, I reckon because you're you're Australian, so you yeah. just you just swear you all swear the time without realizing. It's I don't know how you do a whole show about swearing. It's I know, especially with with like the public spontaneous stuff they do, like all the stunts. Like I don't know how they could see somebody do a backflip and go, "Holy fuck, can't." <laughs> <That's sick." laughs> uh, it's credit to them. Credit to them. Do you That's reckon what... you could ever do it? A mainstream <sighs> thing. I think I could do not on the top of my head, like if there's a script. Yeah. And we can I can think of something clever that sounds like a swear word that's not. Bloody gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody gosh, Helen. <laughs> Bloody gosh. That's I don't know. Good. I, 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 but yeah, I wouldn't want to unless it's actually good. Yeah. I wouldn't do it for the sake of yeah. getting on mainstream just <sighs> I think I could do I think I could do radio, but mm. only I don't know, not not like for not for ten years. I reckon I could do radio for a little bit. Well, what would your slot be? I like drive. Yeah, you know. I think drive would be the best. You don't have to wake Fuck up early. Waking up, man. Oh, yeah. Because if you got the morning, that starts at six, which means you start at really kind of three, depending on where you live. I, th- I think the problem with morning radio is that they never match my mood. You know, they're always chipper and awake yeah. and giving me the gospel as I'm just awake. They should be on fuck. Oh, it's hard waking up. It's fucking cold. <laughs> Here's a song. Don't crash on the way to work, cunts. Have yeah. a good one. That's what, that's what Nova, Nova needs. Don't <laughs> crash, cunts. Need. Breakfast <laughs> show with Frenchie. <laughs> oh, it's in the morning. Welcome. It's our chilly one. And I was like, ah. Oh. Yeah. You've burst my eardrums already, bro. Yeah, well, I don't know how they do that in the morning. Maybe they should, they should have realistic breakfast shows where just the hosts realistic. never turn up. <laughs> <laughs> they just play music and it's like oh, he's not here yet he's, not, he's coming he's coming <laughs> I'm covering it uh, he's getting it. yeah but I think I think drive would be the way to go I think I could do that for a little bit with as long as I had someone to bounce off I don't think I could fucking that'd be weird doing it. solo presenters always weird me out like they try to have a conversation like with themselves and they try to make banter with themselves and it's just well I do that on my podcast do, I... uh, but like uh but I can say cunt. I think people are used to it via podcasts, though. Yeah. But, like, you know, because like, obviously Bill Burr and stuff, they all, they all do that. I think on... Like, I remember listening to I-98, Wollongong Station. Uh, I remember <laughs> I'm sorry, name. that sounds like the shittest <laughs> radio <laughs> show ever. Oh, it is. It is. I-98, And there was Wollongong. one who had, like, <laughs> the six to the nine slot, and he would just bend with himself. But he had a quick... 30 seconds to be into himself before he had to play another song, so it was just That'd be weird. awkward. Oh, I remember I was in uh, McDonald's on the way, and I got a, I got a cane. Oh, song coming up. <laughs> yeah. Just, it was just these stories that never went out because he didn't have any time, and it was just... Yeah, well, that, I think that's why my podcast works, because I can, I can yell for an hour about one thing that mildly annoyed me, but if you've got to condense that into 30 seconds... Before the next fucking Katy Perry song about the tits comes on, <laughs> I don't know how you could do it. I, I, I love it. You know, like there's those radio stations where they obviously don't know which song's coming next. There's some that they yeah. definitely know. There's some. Oh, here's a, here's a good next one. It's a, it's, it's a banger. <laughs> there's just some cut in the back with an iPod shuffle. I don't know what's playing next. <laughs> I think it'd have to be like if, if you're on like a top forty station. You personally, I don't. Would you want to know which song's next? Or you just be like, I just say. You know what I would I would struggle with is is 
pretending to be excited about the music that's going to play. But that's why I'm saying would it would be easy for you if you didn't know. Yeah, I think so. At least you can fool yourself that it's not Ariana Grande. Yeah, so I could just I could just say, oh, we're going to some music now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's music. <laughs> Doesn't sound like it, but they tell me it is. I'm pretty sure. Do nah, you? the hardest bit would be the ads. Yeah. I think. Oh, when they do their on air with their same voices. Yeah, where they do... Wally you, Lewis here, who wants to buy a U? We've got the best U, you mean like yeah, that sort of yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, that kind of shit. Yeah. Because, do, you, do, the, do they get, like, do the presenters get paid more for that? Uh, I think they, get, they don't get that much more, I don't think, but I think they can choose to do it or not. Okay. So, uh, I should have really known more about this. Elliot and Kenny, who I live with from the, from the Roundabout crew, they work in, uh, for Triple M. Oh, so right. So they were telling me about how much uh, Mark Geyer and, and stuff. Yeah. I don't know if that's... They were telling me... <laughs> we, we can edit it out if you decide. Anything you say... I don't, we can... They were telling me about um, um, on-air personalities and how much they get for ads and, and things Yeah, like and that. who's raping who. <laughs> <laughs> not at that station. No, yeah. No. They're well, not, there's, there's not many they're girls. ex-footballers. They're not yeah. current. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> that's <current>. true. <laughs> and there's no 16-year-old girls walking around there, so... Wow, <laughs> you're throwing out some wild. Does it? I don't know. Is there any allegations of footballs with young girls? I think. Like, and there's a lot of rugby players. Because I think all the football scandals were just group, mostly group. Oh, I th- wasn't there that the one? Sharks was all groups, group sex. I think there was that one footballer that was that was allegedly with a 16 year old girl years back. I think, which in Australia is perfectly legal. Did you know that? No, I did not know that. If you're 16... Does it depend on the state? No, worldwide. I looked it up. I mean, not worldwide. Australia-wide. <laughs> um, if, if you're 16, you can fuck like an eight, 98-year-old dude, and that's legal. I always thought it was 18. That's. I thought it was 18 too. Yeah, but you can't get nudes from them. What? Yeah, so you can fuck a 16-year-old, but if she sends you a picture of her tits on Snapchat, you'll go to jail. Because that's, that's child porn. strange, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it weird? That is so... Yeah, but in the, it's different in every country, yeah? Yeah, it is different in every country. Some of, like, the... Because I think Russia is, like, 14 or 15. Now. Which that's is sucks. very Russia, really. <laughs> 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 so... You got any Russian tours coming up? Oh, we'll be booking them. <laughs> I'll be booking them. <laughs> Imagine doing comedy in Russia. I feel like they'd be sad or angry. Like, surely they need a laugh, though. <laughs> yeah. I uh, just don't think you'd be able to get on their level in terms of comedy. Well, I, I know a lot of uh, a few people, a few Melbourne comics who who like do massive shows in South Korea in English. Mm. And they just kill it over there because, you know, so many people speak English and there's also all of the Australian tourists that they, oh, want, okay. they want some Australia, so they go and see a show. Okay. South Korea. Yeah, isn't that a weird thing? I heard the markets in, in all of Asia are starting to grow into this stand-up comedy thing because it's not yeah. massive there. India and stuff have been... Yeah, I'm yeah. Still, I'm still I've talking to Neil, I was telling him he should, he should crack India. Oh, he totally could. He sh- Absolutely. Yeah, he does accent so well. Yeah, I know. He's Indian, obviously. And, and I think he is actually Indian. Yeah, yeah, he is. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a stage name, I don't think. No, I don't think so. But no. yeah, with the... I would love to... I don't know if you think about this, but I'd love to get big in like a, just a random country. Yeah, like weird Poland place. Poland or Guatemala or somewhere you're just not expecting them because yeah. one YouTube video somehow yeah. connects to them and you can just go tour there. Well, Jim Jeffries, I saw him in Australia and he was talking about how... Oh no, I heard this in a podcast, he was talking about how he's, he's a real global comic, like he's not just Australia and America, which is what most people think, like he's got a huge following in, um, in Israel. What? Isn't that strange? Because when he was coming up, he used to do all of those, like Ibiza, Ibiza that's in Israel, yeah. isn't it? No, that's in Spain. Spain. Ibiza is an island off the coast there's, of Spain. There's one Israel, there's one like massive party in Israel that happens all the time for like real young people and he used to do that well uh, it's like a, a festival yeah he, he used to do that like once a year and he just he just built up slowly this weird Israeli audience that's strange because he does so many jokes about uh, religion yeah and Jesus and stuff and they seem like pretty religious people well yeah it's the, <laughs> the whole thing that's like the, ho- the home of, for the Jews kind of thing that is crazy Israel yeah, yeah. have you met uh, many Israelis 
Uh, a couple, yeah. Mostly girls for some reason. Mm. I know. Mm. I don't... But they, they're all, like... They've all been through the army training. Yeah, it's crazy. And yeah. all that kind of stuff. So they're really fit and, and they could kill you as well. It's, it's, it's hot and it's also scary. It's yeah. Like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Watch the Jew jokes. <laughs> it's like, no, I hate Palestine too, all right? Just don't fuck me up. <laughs> I was I was trying to hit on this uh, this um, Israeli girl once. I was I was, I was yeah. nineteen. I was overseas, and, mm. and I'm not that culture in the ways of the world. I was really? Just talking. <laughs> 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 so I was talking absolute shit, and I was but it was like just embarrassing shit, like trying yeah. to be like oh cultural, lol, lol, lol. And I was talking. I think I mentioned um, that. Yeah, but Israel is like, Israel's such a such an older country than Australia, you know. <laughs> That's like, so well, wrong. You know, it was made in like whatever nineteen forty or whatever. Yeah, it was like after World War after II. After World War II, everyone's like, oh, let's give the Jews a home. Yeah, 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 and I'm like, oh yeah, I mean, like the land has a lot more history. I just covered straight. I was like, you, you know, yeah, of course, of course, I knew that. Of course, I knew that. <laughs> Well, that kind of makes sense. That's I, that was a good save, even I, though you don't know what you're talking about. I googled it straight up. I was like, "That's not right, is it? That's been a country for sixty years, seventy years." <laughs> I, go- I had to Google yeah. it because I wouldn't believe it. Yeah, because because uh, after the Holocaust and shit, I don't know. Apparently, in the Quran, it's like, "Oh, it says, oh, we own that." But the problem is, there's all these other fucking books that are like, "No, nah, that's ours." And then they set up Israel there, and it's slowly been getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and mm. kicking out everybody else. Mm. And then it's just this whole fucking shit fight over whose book was older. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I really need this to is, learn this my This is history. global politics I with really Frenchie. I really need to learn it all. Well, um, we I started off with ages you can have sex with people. Yeah, and we, we moved, <laughs> and we into moved on to some... To Israel. I wonder what the uh, age of consent is in Israel. Um, I want to Google it, but I also don't want to get flagged. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Do you ever not Google things because you worry about the internet police going... Oh, Even I'm though already... you know it's for the right reason, you're looking up for stand-up, whatever. I'm 100% like, on that list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you would have to be. I know, all the shit that we've done. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was on that because you just end up getting Googling weird things. I wonder if there's, yeah. there's so many... I guess I'd have so many trigger words that, for things to look up uh, that don't flag you. Like, oh... It wouldn't just be the generic ones. Well, it's it's crazy now, like, how well they can track you with, with ads and shit. Like, I'll look at... I remember I googled something for my girlfriend, like, some food about some diet that she's doing. And mm. then all of a sudden, all of my Facebook ads about this fucking new diet. I'm like, can't, I need to put on weight. <laughs> and it's like, every app too. It's like, not just the app you Google it. It's like, somehow they just know. Do you cover your camera on your laptop? Are you oh, close? yeah, I've got tape on it. Look. Fuck, I need to do that. Well, I just, I just, I'm, I, I, there's, there was points where I was, I only just did it recently where, because I was like, ah, oh, look, I don't want to be that paranoid guy. But then I thought, yeah, but I don't really want to want the internet to see my cum face. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly, like, I haven't done it yet, but I was thinking the other day, I was weird, midway through a very strange wank. Yeah. Um, and I was like, oh, I just looked down at my camera and I was like. It's too late now, but I should do something about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. It puts you off when, you, when, you when you're off. going into it, and then you see the camera, and you're and like, it, is the government watching? And I was like, do I want them... At least they won't know which porn I'm watching, but like they can hear it, so... Nah, that will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that would be worse yeah. than the cum face is... The cum face, and also, this and is what he was watching. to the porn. <laughs> So they they you know what you know what make um like you know those reaction videos mm. on YouTube if you could put the video side by side with your face that'd oh, be great that I'd would watch be that. so horrendous <laughs> <laughs> has there been a celebrity a scandal where someone leaked video of them wanking or something uh, stick pics are really I've been so many of them they're not even like a thing anymore yeah. like it's like oh leak dick pics like yeah I'll have it a look and but it's yeah because really like, I think I think the women get it worse because like no one gives a fuck about a guy's no one's gonna chest. wank over a dick pic exactly yeah yeah like you'll see a dick and you're like I don't know it looks like a dick anyone's dick that could be anyone <laughs> but like a woman it's always like a full body yeah. you can see inside them kind of thing yeah they, and it's like well that's some, definitely Jennifer Lawrence <laughs> some confronting poses I'm gonna look for research but I'm not enjoying it <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like uh, um, do you remember when um, Tiger Lily's we can not talk about this do you remember when Tiger oh, Lily's um, nudes Got I, I do remember. Yeah. I, I mean, I mean, 
Anyone who's in a group chat with a bunch of males yeah, knows when that. celebrities get nudes leaked. Yeah. Because there's always one guy who's on it. He's on it. Like, how do you know so quickly? Yeah, I know. That's, that's what happened to me. Like, like, a lot of the time with celebrity nudes, you don't have to look, look it up. Like, all these people go, how could you look at this up? And how could you go and find it out? It's like, dude, I... I involuntarily found out about yep. it. Like, I just go through Twitter and someone would tag me and go, oh, look at fucking yeah. Tiger Lily's tits. I'm like, I don't even know who she is. But <laughs> and I've seen her naked. I had a mate who I was talking to two days after that happened where her news got leaked. And I was, he didn't know about the nudes. He didn't know who she was. And I was describing the video, which is her flashing. Yeah. And then he just goes... Oh, I think I've got that on my computer. <laughs> is that a DJ? He just thought it was some just porn some star. Random. He just had no idea. Did you know about the, the Snapchat levels? So levels. you know, did you know if you drew on, people can hack that? Like, cause that's yeah, because that's what up. happened to her. Because did you she... know about it before that? Though, no, I didn't. Crazy. No, because I used to. I would do things like I would post photos of merchandise, and then I would like go over people's addresses yeah. with the with the pencil, so that people wouldn't see their addresses. But now I don't. Now I flip it over because you don't want. Oh, there you go. There you go. People but uh, seeing that. exactly, it's it's hackers are crazy, man. They're yeah, so... they're so they're so good to the point where when I when I saw that and how she was complaining about, oh, how could this happen? It's like, how could this not happen? You know, <laughs> like you posted a video of you flashing the camera and then covered it with Snapchat stickers. What did you think was going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> Guys always find a way. <laughs> it grieves. They've got a one-track mind. I know it's it's ridiculous, but you know, way of the world. Yeah, <laughs> it is. But it's I had I remember recently there was this internet guy who got his dick pics leaked, and uh, it happened because someone hacked into his Snapchat and got his password, and he had saved dick pics to his memories. Who does that? Why would why would you save your own dick pics? To your memories. To your memories. You're like, oh, October thirteenth was a good day. Check out that one. <laughs> was there filters and stuff on them? No, it was just regular dick pics. What angles did he use? And you know what? They were good ones. Maybe that's why, because he couldn't mm. be fucked taking them again. Like he like he took a photo of it, he goes, I've done it. Sometimes you just that's get the it. right angle and you're like, you know what, actually, that's not horrendous. Or maybe he doesn't like shaving his pubes, so he did it once to <laughs> and was like, that's it, I'm done. That's it. Do you take them? <laughs> I've been in ages, actually. I, I went through a stage where I'd, I'd send a few out. I wouldn't send them out. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't send them out uncalled for. Yeah. I wouldn't just, just spam them like, like, a, You're like crazy. a letter drop. I would never do that. Was it just to, it was to, was girls it to girlfriends? Was, it was to girls I was seeing. From what scene, though? <laughs> no, like man. seeing nudes I, off who, who I may or may not have, have, have slept with it was... okay so you you know them like you I know met them, them in real I life. met them in real life I met them in real life yeah so it they're was, not just like random yeah. fans on Snapchat it was um, it was I was it was cause I was a bit feral when all my videos first blew up and I was a mm. bit I would, I would yeah I was the same like when it, when the the internet kind of fame first mm. happened because it's, it's this weird role reversal where all of a sudden, like you spent your whole life chasing girls, and yeah, all of a sudden it is. they chase you, and it's the it's like what the fuck? Exactly, exactly. How so, can I not abuse this? So I, you have to take advantage of it, and that's that's why I end up sending a few dick pics because was, they were sending a lot, and as you know, it's just not fair. You need to get the ratios right. If they send yeah. at least five to eight, I've got to send them one back. It's rude if I don't. But I was very careful. I so, made sure. So your dick is worth. Eight pics of tits. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the embarrassment of if it got late, I was like, oh well, I got eight in return. Yeah, that's true. Nah, I um, and I do. I have made sure I had to get out. You have to get out anything that you could be recognised by. Yeah. So if you if you paranoid about it, unless I was drunk, then I was not in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but if I was sober, I'd be like, okay, don't show the abs because often I'll have the abs drawn on. Yeah. Um, make sure if I uh, like that. You just got to... Yeah, because there's crazy fucking internet detectives. Like, I've seen so many photos of, like... Miley Cyrus is a good example, where it's just a photo of, like, a girl's torso naked. Mm. And then... But there's, like, an... There's, like, a... It's like a freckle or something. Yeah, there's a freckle, and they'll circle mm. it, and they'll put it next to another picture mm. with a freckle. And then also, oh, look at the colour of the wall paint. And then the craziest one I've seen was... There was like a selfie with the phone in it, okay. right? So it was a mirror photo. Yep. They were holding the phone, and then they calculated 
the size of the iPhone and then they stacked it all up in the photo and they were like, that equals to this actor's exact height. <laughs> so it has to be her. Wow. If that's what I was like, if guys they put their brain to something else, we I would know. have solved every illness in the world. Yeah. And they're putting their brains to finding out which celebrities are in which nudes. And it's like it just just believe that they are. You, why do you have to prove it? I need to know. I, I know. Need to know. It's like they. Ex- you don't get anything from proving it other than I don't know what you get out of that. Just enjoy just enjoy your nudes. What if you find out they're fake? That'd like kill the mood. I would really. Yeah. How did the 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 meme nudes start? What do you mean the the meme? Uh, you know, like how there's all those photos of like you do all these sort of things, then it's like nudes or send nudes. Or something. Oh yeah. Do you remember how that started? I don't know. I reckon that was just a, a genius. Nude mark. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you, because on Snapchat, if you film something white and you put white text on it that says send nudes, you can't see it. And then you move the camera to film something black and then the text shows up. Ah. That's great. Is that how it started? I don't know. I was wondered. I was wondered. People. The, the history. If anybody knows, email me and then I'll text Frenchie. E- email us. Email <laughs> us. Please. I need to know. Yeah. Well, we were talking about radio. Yep. Radio people. I was, I was thinking that I could do mainstream radio, but not, uh, but only with someone that I knew. So you knew and Kidgel? Yeah, I could do it with Luke. Yeah, I reckon we cool. could do a really good mainstream one. Because you see so many radio shows where it's obvious that they don't know each other. Yeah, they're not friends. Before, and, 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 and that's what you need. You can't fake that. And that's what people hate. That's why like that Rove and Sam show was... I had, yeah, that was Did weird. you listen to it? I did. There was just no natural banter. And, yeah. Oh. It was like Rove, who's like a presenter and a comedian, and then some ex-bachelorette the bachelorette. Con- contestant, and then they just put him in a room and was like, all right, it's going to be a hit. And now she's on Home and Away. Did you see that? Oh, she fucking... Just got what a low that is. Home and Away. Home and Away. Ha- <laughs> it's... Oh. Well, good honour. Good well, honour. Yeah, making I mean, the most of it. I, yeah, that's, that's a pretty long career when you think about it from, from like... The contested shows like that from where losing The Bachelor to she didn't even win The Bachelor to get on Home and Away that is, that is pretty good actually Drive I'll take time, it radio back. show it's better than most what are we doing mate I know <laughs> what are we yeah, doing yeah see that's what get on The Bachelor what am I doing if a fucking ex-Bachelor fucking get contested on the didn't even win gets a prime time radio show it's like what am I doing is, is that is that the higher ups fucking up or is that me <laughs> It's just the world we live in nowadays, isn't it? Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's like the, the formula of a radio show. is like, if it doesn't work, just shove a footy player in there. <laughs> now, there's a few that are happening in Melbourne. I won't name names, but they just put more footy players in them. And it's like, oh, this will make it good. And then it's just some cunt who only knows football. <laughs> with some comedian. Just bloke banter, mate. <laughs> but we want to talk about barbecues and footy. Rock music. <laughs> rock music. <laughs> uh, um, I really but, haven't listened to radio in about eighteen years. So. Yeah, once I once I found podcasts, it was like I just didn't go back to it. Because even with, even if you you genuinely do like a radio show, it's you can get it on podcasts without the ads, mm. and and it's you know you can listen to it whenever you want. I never I never got radio. I used to listen to it a lot when I was a kid. I used to really enjoy like listening to Nova in the morning. Like, my mum used to listen to it. And that's why I realise my mum's old now, because she stopped listening to Nova and starts listening to 3AW, like the talkback. Oh. (coughs) Once they make that change, it's It's one of those moments in life, you know, someone's old if they put on talkback. I know. It It happened really recently, like last year, because she leaves it on her bedroom, so her bedroom went from, like, call in now to win (laughs) $1,000 if you can name this footy player, (laughs) to... Bloody Muslims coming into the country, we need to ban them. And I was like, oh, fuck, mum's old now. <laughs> Talk back. <laughs> so what are, you, what are you doing in Melbourne, Frenchie? Why, why oh, me, I did this uh, for work. I did this sports better live debate. And then I did yeah. a few spots at the comics. Comics Lounge. Yeah, I saw you last night. You fucking killed it. Thanks, bro. That was a good 10 minutes. It's nice. As, as you'll find, it's nice sometimes doing a, a spot in a hot room because you can just do your A-grade stuff. and Yeah, and then in, just leave. Out. Yeah, like, it's good. I think you have to perform in front of people who aren't your fans. I think I think that that does help. But I also, you know, like when you do an hour show, Yeah, it's a good show. It's a great show, okay? But there are bits which are luller 
than others. Yeah, of you course. You've got to set up whatever. You get yeah. on a longer story, blah, blah, blah. Whereas 10 minutes... Yeah, you just, you just come out and be nice. fucking amazing. It's, it's like, epic. I've always thought that if you have an opener act, you should never give them more f- than 15 minutes. Because yeah, I think in cool. 15 minutes... You can upstage anyone with an hour, <laughs> I think. Well, there's well, definitely potential. because well, that's it's almost <clears> easier <throat> for them because they're just doing all their gold. They're doing all the best. Yeah, they're yeah. Hot, hot, hot. But like, like it's like like if I were to do 15 minutes, I've got three years worth of material go. to choose from. Whereas go. the person I would be opening for only has their last year an hour. You know what I mean? Exactly. So unless they're incredible, it's there's potential to, to get upstage kind yeah. of thing. But um, I don't know. I'd, I've always I I like having an opener. Do you have many openers? No, I usually don't. Cool. No. A costs money. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. B my shows go quite long anyway. Like <clears throat> if I'm doing like a theatre show, not in a festival, I, it'll yeah. always go at least eighty minutes because I got enough sort oh, of really? shit I can do. I do a lot of crowd work for the longer shows, and and I got a few extra bits I can chuck in. Yeah, yeah. Which well, I like having an opener. I mean, I, th- I think it feels more like more like a show kind yeah. of thing. I, I I don't mind having an opener. I like I like it, but it's money, bro. Yeah, it's it does money. Cost money. Yeah. It's money. You got to fly them around. You got to put them up. You got to pay them. Yeah, yeah. It, it fucking adds up because I had uh, on this tour, I had I had Luke Kidgel yep. as my opener, and then I also had a cameraman yep. uh, that I had with me, and and they they paid for their flights. I paid for their accommodation. Oh, you didn't pay for their flights. No, but I paid them for the shows because yeah. I couldn't afford it because I was yeah. like, you know, I, I'd like to take you guys, yeah. but I literally can't afford it. And then they stepped up and then, then they said they wanted to come, you know, just for fucking experience and exposure. Yeah. And, and I paid them for so, the shows. So they, I think they, I think they broke even on it, but even just paying them, paying two people a night for fucking 18 shows cost me fucking yeah. heaps. Yeah, exactly. And, and, you know, next year. It's a lot more fun having a good crew there though. Yeah, I, like, I, I really like touring. I can with see why people. Kevin Hart will crew too. It would be crew. <coughs> yeah, 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 I think so. So much fun! I love to be able to tour nine legends. Yeah, no, it was. Every it was day's a Saturday when you're on tour with Frenchy because Saturdays are for the boys. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was really good just being on tour with two guys that you genuinely liked as well. Like it wasn't yeah. just some cunt who's good at stand up that you've never met. Oh, I'd rather pick someone who's shit at stand up that I like hanging out with. Yeah, exactly. One of my mates. So yeah. Never done stand up. I'm like, yeah, fuck, get up there. Yeah, <laughs> you're my own. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. I, I yeah, t- touring with people is great because touring by yourself can get real fucking lonely. I was, um, yeah, definitely. It's no fun. You really, it, you yeah. just work if you're by yourself. Like, mm. uh, um, I usually, if I get home, I'll get Matt ready. Yeah. Who's the same guy Josh uses. All right. Cause he's just absolute legend. I've he's, never met he's him. He's the funnest <coughs> guy. He's so good. He's a current teacher, so he can't really do anything All right. online. I don't think. Cause that's he's what just there to get, He's just there to get pissed and have a good time. Well, that's there good. Was, there was one time I had to have a word to him and he, he apparently does it on Josh's shows. Yeah. I want, like, my openers to be pretty punchy, you know, and do yeah. a lot of bits. Uh, I mean, like, material. Bang, 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 bang. Well, yeah, you want them. They're there to warm the crowd up. He starts going away from his bits, chatting the crowd a bit, okay. And then he asks, does anyone have a birthday? And then apparently it's a bit he's done before. <laughs> Kelsey or someone, 17 year old has a birthday. Yeah. No, oh, I, I can't. Wait, goes, as soon as I find it they're under... Happen. No, as soon as I find it they're underage... I don't, I back out of the crowd work because I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to say something that'll land me in jail. <laughs> um, not in Australia, mate. <laughs> 16, we found that out. That's true. Um, yeah, so he goes, she goes, I got a birthday. He goes, okay, guys, I want everyone to sing happy birthday to her. And yeah. I'm watching from side stage going, oh, this must be a bit. He must be going somewhere with this because no one's just going to sing, get the whole crowd to awkwardly sing happy birthday to a fucking random to open yeah, a fucking weird. Frenchie show. <laughs> Oh, that was his whole plan. Happy birthday. Oh, so that was it. They just awkwardly <laughs> sung the song. About a quarter of the crowd did it. The rest of them drinking their beers going, what the fuck is going on? And then the, and then he got off stage. Fortunately, he did a little bit more work. A little bit. A, a, a Because that's jokey, not a bit. That's... A solid joke he closes on. Then he got off. And I did my show. And I go, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> and I talked to Josh about it. And Josh goes, yeah, he does that a lot. That's <laughs> go, weird. No more happy birthday songs on my show, mate. Yes, yeah. No worries. So if you're having a birthday at a Frenchie show, you're going to have a shit time. You're not going to get the crowd singing to you. I wouldn't want it. If it was my birthday, I wouldn't want the crowd singing to me. That'd be the most awkward shit ever. No, it is awkward. Do you know, have, you ever, have you ever been in TGI Fridays? 
No. It's a, okay, so it's like an American restaurant. They have a few in Melbourne. Oh, they have some in Sydney. But basically, if you tell the staff that it's your friend's birthday, they all come Sick. around and they sing happy birthday sick. and I've done that to so many of my friends that it's so not their sick. birthday and they just have to go oh. <laughs> yeah they have to, to tell them because they already started singing yeah yeah and, and even if and they just come up and they start doing it they don't they don't clarify is it your birthday so if oh, you ever go so to TGI good. Fridays just dob in your mate and tell the staff that it's their birthday because they surround you and they have like fire that's and a, shit that's a classic stitch up <clears throat> I had when I was teaching in high school I had I think it was my year 10 class yeah I was had a term of science which is was you were <laughs> you <laughs> taught science <Yeah. laughs> that's bad yeah, that's did you know anything about it or did uh, you just, I did science did you a couple school pages so uh, you just try to you just have to prep the material you're teaching that day and go okay it's just all comprehension really it's not yeah. too many cra- like in year 10 year 9 it's not too many crazy formulas you got your head around it's just okay that's what a electron is blah 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 yeah you just say it confidently enough, they'll believe anything. Yeah, it looks just like stand up, basically. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, so it was year 10 class, and um, uh, they started every day, they would sing happy birthday to me. One of them go, hey, it's Mr. French's birthday today, guys. <laughs> like, oh, really? Happy birthday. And I was like, oh, this is really funny. And then I got off it for a few days. And I'm like, said, it's not, you know, it's not my fucking birthday. You know this. <laughs> and then I was back on. I was like, okay, bring yeah, it on. Yeah, you were totally one of those fun PE teachers that everyone knew they could basically abuse. Yeah, and definitely. Like, ah, oh, well, yeah. I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, as long as it was funny, I would, I would let them get away with it. Is like, I don't care if they swear or whatever. But if they're just doing it just to be dicks, I fuck, I'd have to let them know. Yeah, not a my, not a Mr. Fringes <laughs> class, guys. No way. Yeah, now Mr. French is a great teacher name. It's a thank you. <laughs> it, it is. It's good. It's French, French. No, I don't teach French, mate. It sounds like it does sound like an asshole teacher. You got Mr. French? Oh, he's a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> so was it? Oh, that was Mr. French. Was teaching PE. We had Mr. English teaching math. So it was fucking. It was a crazy. <laughs> it was a crazy time. The whole school's fucked up. Mr. Janitor was the principal. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Janitor. That's a strange name. Jan Ito. <laughs> scrubs. Um, I'm going to be honest. Um, we didn't plan this at all, did we? No. No. Oh, I wanted to. I wanted to talk about um, you doing a comedy special before. Oh yes, right? that's what we're going to talk about. Yeah, because this is going to come out in a couple of weeks, so I will have announced my crowdfund is awesome. how I'm doing my special. So crowdfund. Yeah, I'm crowdfunding it because I'm I'm going to spend thirty grand on it. Fuck off. Yeah. Epic. I want to. I want to do it properly. That's crazy. It That's is so good. That's a lot of money. <laughs> do you need to spend that much on it? Yeah. Like, well, what, what are you shooting it in? I'm shooting it in 4K. Oh, yeah. Um, and we're using like four cameras and operated by four people. And the cameras are like thirty thousand dollar cameras with yeah. fifteen thousand dollar lenses. And then yeah. I'm filming it across two nights. Yeah. So that ah, doubles. Ah, well, you're wearing the same thing so you can yeah, yeah. slot between your best bits of yeah. each night. Well, I, I you don't. You cheeky motherfucker. Well, no, you I think cheeky. It's... I know what you're doing. Dude, that's how most, most specials are shot yeah, over two I nights, know. aren't they? I, know, I, know. I think I think it's honestly more for my own head just to take mm. the pressure off. Yeah, Because I, I feel, like, I, I feel like, like right now, I don't need to do two nights, but I know that once I, like, just before I go on stage, I would be thinking, this is the only chance I have. Yeah, I like, better not it. fuck it up. You do think, you do think that. I wasn't spending that much for my Perth special, but I was thinking consciously in my own head. And even on stage, I was thinking, oh no, I mumbled that. I mean, yeah. I mumbled the, the setup. Oh no, blah, blah, blah. Did you, did you re, if you fucked a punchline or, or mumbled something, did you say it again? Not punchlines. If I fucked a setup and I knew it was just, I could do it again, I'll do it again. But, yeah. But it was it varied because sometimes you're in the flow of the show and uh, I can I can it's it yeah most shows you fuck things you're not gonna do a perfect show yeah yeah I, that's that's what I'm I'm kind of like I've been talking to a lot of comics who have done stand up specials before and <laughs> and uh, I know it's a lot of money it like is. For well, I'm, I'm paying to, for half are you trying to it. get it on Netflix or something yeah. Yeah, that's, Have you been that's in contact with anyone, or are you just gonna? Uh, yeah, I've been talking to like a few people from America, like companies from America that that have actually got shows on Netflix before, okay. and they're interested in pitching it for me. But I think it's well, well, my my main thing is I'm like I'm not counting on Netflix. So the main thing is 
I'm going to crowdfund 15 grand and I'll pay for the rest myself with my own money, mm. which is all of, the, <laughs> all of the money I have all in the world. Money, yeah. um, but uh, then I'm going to do it as like a $5 digital download, like Louis uh, CK okay, nice, kind of thing. Nice. So that, you know, if, if it doesn't, I'm not going to relying on Netflix. And I think it's something that, that, you know, five years down the line, if Netflix does take a look at me, I can be like, yeah, cool. You can have my old I've one got it. too. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There so you go. I'll no, do a new one and you can idea. have my old one for free. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. I just want to have it. I just, the reason why I'm spending so much money is I'm, I'm kind of, I'm trying to future proof it. That's really, it's a really smart idea. I, I'm <laughs> always, it's a tricky one because I've got, I don't know whether, whether what I should do with it. Now? Yeah, well, I've got my second one coming out actually soon, within a couple of weeks, hopefully. Oh, well, then it might be out by the time I put this out. It might even so be go out. Go check World's, out Frenchie's special. World's Worst Adult, which is a show I do like, and I was having that same debate, should I try to spend more getting a film properly? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And, 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 it, and then I was like, you know what? What? Where did Kevin Hart, all his fans watch his stand-up on YouTube first? Yeah. That's yeah. how he grew his name in like Sweden, all these fucking random yeah, places. Yeah. So it's not a bad idea having a bit of stand-up on YouTube. Yeah. Because if you get it on Netflix, it can't go on there. They like allow you to have like one prom- promo bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm not that upset, but I do actually want to make the shift into better, bigger, bigger productions. Like, how are you doing? Fuck! Did I tell you how my special fucked up? My perf one? No. Holy fucking shit. So... Oh, this is going to scare me. It's No, it's fucking... It was so fucking frustrating. Yeah. So I planned it the whole year. It was going to be... Um, because how, how did you how did you actually film it? it? Is actually, it just people with DSLRs and then you recorded the the uh, sound? I don't uh, I don't know. So the first special I was going to do was going to be at Sydney in the same place where Neil did his. Yeah. At maybe the Metro Theatre, but then I checked it a couple of weeks before and I didn't like the vibe of it. I wanted a bigger vo- uh, show. I wanted like a theatre sort of thing. Yeah. Whereas that's like a sort of a cool. Well, I think the room. venue's so important. Yeah. Like I spent so much time trying to find a venue that that visually looked good yeah. but would also be good like when you're there live yeah because that's a of huge course. thing of course you want you want the the double and so i was originally going to do that and everything the camera set up um and i didn't like it i was like you know what I, i'm not feeling this <coughs> i've got a perf show coming up in a couple of weeks let's film it there um, oh, so you just changed last it last minute, minute. and I started doing all these uh, videos How did Perf. you do that? Well, I was already doing a Perf show and it sold really well. Like, Perf crowds really get, a, get around me. Yeah. And so, it wouldn't really, I just did a little bit extra to get the top shelf uh, full. I mean, I was filming special, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. We set up the cameraman. We had, I don't know, five or five cameramen. So, it wasn't, it wasn't massive, but it yeah. still cost a bit of money. Yeah. Show was great. They were a bit too loose. So it wasn't as tight as possible, but it's a good vibe. It was, yeah. it was great. Get back the footage. My editor, he got it all on the timeline for me. I, I, I like him to get it all ready because I don't like doing multicam shit. Yeah, I hate that. And that's yeah. another thing with, with the edit is I'm talking to the guy and I'm like, I just, I want to pick the angles. Like you yeah. edit it, you color grade it, you make it all well, sound that's look how nice, but do it. the then, angles, I'm choosing the angles. Well, then give, you know well that's how, how you do it. You give me, you give me the files and give me it in, in Premiere or whatever you use and then yeah. you can just go through going, okay, I want that camera angle there. I'm going to split that. If they do all the leg work for you, the grunt work, yeah. set it all up, yeah. it's easier. Okay. But anyway, so, so yeah. editing it, I'm going, it. I'm looking at the angles, I'm going, that, I'm not going to lie, that doesn't look that in, in that uh, high definition. That The definition is not quite right on that angle. It goes, no, nah, it's strange. That is, uh, that is strange. So we look through all the footage. Two of the angles were 720. No. The other three are the one, is the one yeah. lower than that. Lower than 720? Lower than fucking 720. What's that, 480? 480. Fuck, you, and you can't put that out. Did you put it out? <sighs> so, is like, what do I fucking do? I'm so fucking angry. I was like, I, and I'm ringing, up, I'm ringing up my manager, Taylor. I'm going, what the fuck? He goes, I have a word to him. He goes, here's the thing. They forgot to change the settings because we apparently we didn't specify HD, which we definitely would have. Why oh, the fuck, fuck else? We want anything else? Yeah. And they're used to streaming. They're used to filming live concerts that go straight to the screen with the. Oh, so so like, like the, say like Taylor Swift in, in an arena. So they're used to filming things oh, for okay. the. So so they don't really didn't hadn't changed the settings from that. So that's how that happened. So I was like, holy fucking shit! I can't put that out. Fortunately, the Sydney show. Yeah. Was in a couple of days. I was like. 
you know what, we're going to have to get the same crew Neil's getting. I'm going to have to refilm that. Yeah. Um, and it's all going to be HD. It's going to cost a fuckload more money because they're even way more expensive. I was like, but I can't release this shit. Sydney yeah. show goes around. I didn't have enough time to promote it properly. It was on a Thursday night. I only got 200 people there and a 500 seater. So it was no vibe uh, at all. Yeah, and it, was, it has to be sold out. That's another thing I'm nervous about because I just did 1,000 people in Melbourne. Yeah. And now for the special, I'm trying to sell 600. Like yeah. three, 300 and then 300. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so That's I'm a, like, fuck, are they going to come back? But at least back? it's the best of show. So it's like... Uh, yeah. It's like your best... I, yeah. Over, isn't it? Yeah, over your three combined, you're putting it all in together. Oh, yeah, the yeah. It's, yeah. The, it's like the best of my last three. I think... And I think selling it as a filming special does help sell a few more tickets. Yeah. So I, I think, think I'll be all right. I, I mean, if fun. you're listening, please come. <laughs> <laughs> Get around it. Yeah. So, it was, um, so I tried to reshoot the Sydney one and I uh, spent a lot of... Uh, a bit more money on that. And the vibe wasn't right. Oh, it's yeah. all in quality, but it's just... Oh, I, was, I was like, fuck, what do I fucking do? Yeah. Um, two, one's a lot, great show, but it's not an HD. All the angles, the other ones. Yeah. And so, I think I'm just going to release the Perf one. So I'd audio... You know the Frozen bit I released? Yeah, yeah. That's from the Perf show. I bet it looked fine. Now I pointed out to you, if you watch it on your laptop, you'd be like, yeah, I know which angles are fucked. Oh, so it's not uh, that bad. It's, it's, well, I if you watch it on your phone, it's fine. You don't notice. Yeah. Well, I suppose, you know, it's fucking YouTube and, exactly. it's, and it's free. People exactly. aren't... Like, especially on YouTube with most stand-up that people watch, it's... Every stand-up's ripped, a fucking, so it's a shit quality. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's either ripped or it's like what I've put on my YouTube, which is just a fucking DSLR at the back on a There you go. Pod. And people still watch that and they still enjoy it just as much. It's, yeah. They're not expecting... I know they're not expecting Netflix quality special. They're getting it for fucking free. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm not worried about that. I just... Pride of, you know, whatever you put out there, you want it to be as good as possible. And so... Yeah. But, so fortunately, most it's the kind of thing that will shit you it's forever. It's me forever. I yeah, know. but I didn't even notice, and, and I, f- I feel like I would be more likely to notice that than... Yeah, so that's good. That's good to hear from you. So, I, um, yeah, so the Frozen bit went fine, and, and you can't really... You don't notice too much unless, I guess, you're watching on a big screen, so... It's good. It'll go out. Yeah. It'll go out. Yeah, that's, an, that's another thing I wanted to talk to you about, because you've put out... Well you're putting out two for free mm. and I'm putting, I'm, I'm putting mine behind a, a bit of a paywall kind of thing. Mm. Why, why did you choose to do it for free? I, I want people, first and foremost, I want people to see my stand up yeah. and just know, okay, Frenchie's coming to town. Let's check out stand up if I'm going to like this or not, because yeah. I know when I go see a show, it's not going to be some kind of them seen before. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm not going to be able to get on Netflix or whatever. And it, I can get a lot of people to pay for it, but I want to grow my name as a stand-up and I want, mm. you know, to sell more tickets for my next show. Yeah. And so that's why I do it for free. So people in South Africa or whatever, you know, some jokes might, I don't know which people will yeah will enjoy which jokes. So and I'm not going to really use any of them again. So Yeah, well, I, I write I a do, new actually. show. I write a new show every year. Yeah. I try to, even, even if it's not being released online, just because I'm... I like I have a real return audience. Yeah, no, I do. I do a new back. show every every year too, but it's good. I think, it's, and then that's what makes it. It's good when you go to a new place that you haven't toured before. Yeah, you've got four years of shows you haven't done, so yeah. you do your new show, but then you slot in these other bits. Like, yeah, you bang it. Like the hand job story, I always slot in. That's and, uh, such a good bit. Yeah, it's my favorite. I was, it was funny. kind of it's true. It's a true story, but it's, I've sort of combined two stories together. Yeah. This girl just gave me the sloppiest hand job. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you, know what's, you know what was really interesting watching you perform last night is is girls love your shit, but you say some of the some of the most fuck stuff about women as well. And it's it's almost surprising where you're walking that it's almost if you didn't deliver it how you do. Well, that's people the, w- could hate you for it. That's that's the art, isn't it? And that's yeah. what you find too. Is that you want to be able to, you want to go down that road, but how do you? Yeah. How do you do it? We get like Jim Jeffries, man. That's that's a perfect person who yeah who he'll does say this, horrible, say horrible shit things in a silly way, kind of. He just has the delivery that softens the blow, and yeah, and and it's all is it is in the facials and in the tone, saying I know what I'm saying, I know I don't believe it, yeah. but fuck, it's funny, sort of thing, yeah. And like, and she always give me a sloppy hand job, and I'm and girls understand. Well, dude, it, I reckon it'd be hard, like, to give if it, for me to give another person a hand oh, job. Fuck, you'd get tired. And I, I know my way. I know my way around a dick, my own. But I, it'd be hard on like the angle. I think the problem, unless they were sitting in your lap, I would nail that. 
<laughs> if a guy's sitting on your lap, you yeah, because it's the same good. angle, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. definitely, definitely. <laughs> I think the problem the girl. That's what we. You got to sit in your girlfriend's lap. That's why you should yeah. sit on her lap more. Okay. Yeah. When you're getting a handy. <laughs> to so, get a so good girls, handy. if you're listening and you, you want any hand job sits, get your get your man to sit in your lap, and then just yep. pretend you're playing like an arcade game. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you're shaking the idea or whatever you're doing. I think the main problem with with hand jobs and, and girls is that. Sometimes it's it's too dry and they don't realise and you just, they're just well, pulling yeah. it too far back or something. You're like, oh yeah, yeah, and you don't know them well enough to give them tips. And it, it's like it's hard. It's, I know I've been doing some terrible fingering at some point. Well, you know what? I think a hand job is is a very stranger thing. It's a strange thing. It's a strange thing. Like no, I mean the thing that you do with a stranger. Oh, a stranger thing. Yeah. yeah. Like and and that's not someone you, you're comfortable with true. giving tips. That's true. Like I would I would never like if on a one night stand I wouldn't be like. Hey, just loosen your grip there, change the angle. It'd be, I don't have the confidence for that. <laughs> no, definitely, definitely. You're just stoked you're getting a hand job, generally. <laughs> but, like, if you know the person, like, it's your uncle. Yeah. You'd be like, oi, just use your mouth, bro. Like, <laughs> that's what you usually do. Use your mouth, unk. <laughs> unk, come on. You got those rough hands, come on. Yeah. Come on, Rolf. <laughs> <laughs> We went a while without getting Rolf Harris mentioned. So too, long, too long, too long, too long. Yeah, too, we should get an alarm every ten minutes. We need a Rolf Harris joke. Rolf Harris. Rolf Harris it approves just, this the, message. The alarm should just be like the wobble board. <laughs> <laughs> I love whenever I talk about Rolf in a video. I always have the wobble board in the background because <laughs> it's just the funniest. Like if there was ever like a sound like that that makes you feel like you're about to get fingered, <laughs> it's the wobble board. <laughs> File approach, approach noise. It's like the rattlesnake. You know, oh, yeah, boom, boom, exactly. Boom. <laughs> yeah, like in, like Rolf Harris got out. I know. Did you hear he's been... How does he get out? How do you get done for pedophilia and then get released from prison? I don't understand. I don't understand either. I don't get it. It's weird. But you know what? Because sometimes when they when they do get out and they're on parole, they make him wear an ankle bracelet. I reckon they should wear, make him wear an ankle bracelet with a speaker on it that just plays the wobble board <laughs> so you can hear him coming. So you can hear him like, What's that noise? Get That's away. Wobble board rock. <laughs> it's like a really fucked version of Marco Polo. <laughs> <laughs> Marco, the kid's getting raped. <laughs> oh. That's fucked. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, think when, I think when special will go... Or, nah, it's and, exciting. It's exciting. I think... Yeah. I, you either got to commit properly, or you got to go for YouTube, and then. But I think yeah. probably if you got three shows to pick from, it's going to be a fire show. You're gonna get yeah, well, I just I think I've just settled on on the the set list, and I'm 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 looking at it, and I'm like, fuck, that's a good show. Hour? Do you know what I mean? Like an hour? Yeah, it's going to be it might probably be could be an hour ten, depending on. Thinking slices. Cuts yeah, yeah. So I'm going to aim for an hour, but you know, if it goes for an hour ten, and I'm, I'm I still think it's good, then it'll be an hour ten. Yep. You know, it's kind of the the freedom of not putting it on TV or, you know, doing it yourself kind of thing. The, the only thing I don't know what to do is with re-uploads with YouTube, right? Mm. Um, because I don't think I mind if someone... Because I'm, I'm making people pay for it, but it'll be DRM-free. Ah, it'll just be a file. So, so, so you could easily upload the whole thing to YouTube. And I don't know how I should respond to that. Because I know... That I watch heaps of stand up on YouTube yeah. that, that really shouldn't be on there, <laughs> and I don't know if you're going to sell it to people. You can't really let them upload the full show. That's what I think. But I'm if take. they're doing bits, yeah, I think if if they like, especially within the first month, if they put the fir- the whole show on YouTube, yeah. I reckon I would copyright claim that. Yeah. But if it's just bits, I don't really care. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you know that's the kind of shit that. That has made so many comedians' careers, really. Yeah, definitely. It's just a bit that I'll, shouldn't have been on there going, like Jim Jeffries, the gun bit, going nuts on Facebook. Crazy. Should not have been on Facebook. Crazy. Like, man. that's, a, that's got, illegal. They got and, him to the next level. But, First he got punched. He's out of lucky. <coughs> I know, or dude. The, the gun control wasn't luck. The gun control was just the best written bit of stand-up in the last 20 years. Oh, yeah. Easy. They, like, that's watching so that, good. watching that the first time, I couldn't even laugh. Because I was just impressed. It's just so. I was just perfect. watching it going. It's like Fuck. you know what it's like. It's like um, Eminem's rap at the end of Eight Mile. Yeah. When he hits Papa Duck and yeah. there's Papa Duck, sorry, yeah. <laughs> Papa Duck, <laughs> Papa Duck, and there's nothing. Uh, 
Uh, and there's nothing you can get, say back to him because he just covered everything. And that's yeah. what Jim did. He covered every sort of argument possible for for gun yeah. bar, for gun control. Yeah, and his follow up bit to it as well, like in the next special, oh, was yeah. hilarious as well, so. where he just straight up admits to lying about the numbers. Yeah. Numbers. He's like, well, it sounds true, doesn't it? It sounds <laughs> good. <laughs> so good. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's that's. I think that's what I'm gonna do. If people upload the full show, I get it taken down. But if people upload clips, I and I love how you just insected that because the people who are gonna do it, the people listening to this podcast, going, okay, I'm listening. <laughs> oh, I know, but I know they're gonna do it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, so like what, if, you, if you give someone uh, a file, what minutes wise, if they uploaded more than ten minutes down, you know what I mean? Like, I think if it's more than one bit, yeah. So if I have a ten minute bit. And if they fuck up the upload of the bit, they get you like halfway through or something, like cut out before the punchline, get rid of it too. Oh yeah, and if you upload it as shit quality, you're shit done. Shit quality, you're done. I think, so these I, are know. The... I think I think all all that I am asking of my fans is if you if you like my shit, download like download it properly, like yeah. pay for it. Oh, it's it, like it's it's five dollars. No, I, do you know I what completely mean? agree with you. Like like everybody it has if you have an internet connection, you have five dollars. I think. I think what I want to try to get across, and I don't think I have as much work, uh, have very well, is is that we put all this like I put all my content out for fucking free. I don't even have Patreon. I don't have nothing. Like yeah, all I want my fans to do is buy a ticket to my show. Yeah, but I don't really tell them that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm so bad at marketing. It's terrible. Well, I, I think I've got a really good relationship got... with the people who like me. Yeah, like... bro. But you do it fairly. You go look. You get all this fucking free content. Yeah. If you want to chuck us a few dollars, thanks heaps. It'll go yeah. to help to make better shit. Yeah, so. that's that's the kind of thing. And and I think I think that because I have the Patreon and and because I'm gonna do a crowd fund, like I'm gonna put because m- making heaps of money is not really my priority no, kind no, of thing. No, so if I do get money, most of the time I just throw it back into the right, and that's and, and that's my favorite. Better. They're my favorite YouTubers. Is the uh, the ones and that's you can tell the ones who want to make money and the ones who want to make money so they can do better, better shit, shit yeah I don't want like, money I want a budget you know you know Racka Racka yeah so they Great get example. they get big budgets for their movies mm. even when they're doing a brand deal they'll still get a massive budget some budgets they'll get will be 20k 50k whatever yeah they're, they've got a million subs you can charge like 20 30 grand they usually go over it and not get what? anything for themselves because they want to get a fucking crane in that day when they don't even fucking need a crane. They want to get. Nah, that's crazy. It's I, so I stop, sick. I draw the nah, line it's there. It's so fucking sick. Where, but but you wanna you wanna make I I, I want to budget, but I also want to be able to buy food. <laughs> but, but you're doing a different style of video to them. They're doing these high intensity special effects, blah blah blah. They need like the, the most intensity. Crane. Like yeah. high intensity stunts they can do, and if they didn't like the stunt they did, yeah. and they're on forty nine thousand dollars, they're like, "Fuck, we're gonna put in five grand of our money and get the car roll properly." You know what I mean? Yeah. Which you, you gotta respect them for as filmmakers. Oh, they're that's... they're great. They're some of the best in Australia. The yeah. Dish. And and their vlogs are fucking Bro, sick. Right, taking over the vlog game, aren't they? They're gonna they're gonna smash Logan Paul and Jake Paul, I reckon, if they can keep up the consistency. But they they don't do like here's the thing though, can they play the game as well as Jake and Logan Paul? Was it as as not from as Australia. much as their, their videos are billion times better than Jake or Logan Paul's, but Logan Paul, Logan and Jake are business. It. They can play They're, the game. Those guys are like holy shit. Every vlog's freaks. almost like a attempt at a viral video. Oh, I can yeah. see colors. <laughs> Good on you. <laughs> wow. Like that sort of shit. Oh, I'm gonna start a beef with my brother. You know what yeah. I mean? Who's also a massive YouTuber. That is still and then, going. I wish Jake did that song. Um, uh, on purpose, that would have been the most brilliant thing ever. If he made it so bad on purpose, I don't think he did that. He on didn't. Purpose. He didn't. No. no, but if like, but that, but if that song was good, none of this shit would have happened. Mm. You know, he he po- he posted like a screenshot of his like fucking like monthly like analytics on mm. YouTube, and he was getting thirty million a month. Crazy man. Thirty million, like that's millions of dollars. Crazy. In in just ad revenue, that's no brand deals, no acting work, nothing. That's just YouTube ads, millions and millions. It's crazy. Crazy. And here I am trying to sell a special for five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> and then we got the Bachelorette on the home and away. What are we doing with our lives? I know. We're stuck I know. in my hotel room, just cum tissues everywhere. <laughs> nah, clean them up, don't worry. That's good. Clean them up. That's good. But, um, well, that, that brings us to the end of the podcast. Okay, good note to end on. So, yeah, so 
Fra- Frenchie's got no cum tissues. I want you to buy my special. Oh, Frenchie, you, you should, you may have your special out. Yeah, time, check out my YouTube channel. My special world's worst adult will be out at some point, and it's. it's you know a what? I won't good release show. this until it's out, so uh, the promo makes sense. Thanks, so, um, yeah, well, so the special will be out. Go it's and three check hours out stand up, and the end will blow your fucking mind. Is that the Frozen? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's, that made me, I saw it in real life and it made me cry. So, definitely wish, check it out. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know. Please, please buy my one. <laughs> yeah, <definitely. laughs> All right. See you later, guys. Have a shit one.